years later, he's hitting me up like, Beyonce might want to use it. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Hold up, Beyonce. That's a, that was also a reunion for me and Diplo. I'll say this, me and, <laughs> me and Wes don't, <laughs> we don't get together in the studio that often, but we do have like a pretty good hit rate. I feel like we've probably been in the studio together like four times, and one time we did Jessica, and one time we did Hold Up, and I'm like, that's, that's pretty good, we should do it more often. So Hold Up, that's a song where Wes played me this sample, which is from a 60s record, and I think the reason that he had liked it, and the reason that I liked it too, was that it's not, it wasn't a ska record, but it had a little bit of that feel. Bah, mm, bah, mm. But, and if you listen to the real song, you know, it has nothing to do with ska or reggae at all, but it, had, it has like this unusual feel. I had this like old tweet in mind where I was kind of quoting the yeah, yeah, yeahs, but instead of wait, they don't love you like I love you, hold up, they don't love you like I love you. It was an old tweet, I don't know why it popped into my head in that moment, and then I kind of started writing a melody, and then wrote this, can't you see there's, originally I said, can't you see there's no other God above you. What a wicked way to treat the man who loves you. And uh, Beyonce changed it to, she ch took the God part out, which I think was a good choice. But so me and Wes made this little demo. He sent me the, the little uh, bounce of, of what we'd done that day in the studio. And I wrote back saying, I think that's a pretty good hook, if I do say so myself. You know, I'm generally pretty humble, but at that time I was just like, I just wanted to like make this, I just wanted him to remember that I was like, this is a good one. He did remember, and I said to him at some point, I was like, can this one be maybe a Vampire Weekend song, not a Major Lazer song? Because obviously, at the time, those were the two choices. Years later, he's hitting me up like, Beyonce might want to use it, and I was like, yeah, whatever. Just heard too many stories about people saying like, oh, we wrote a song for Rihanna, and I was like, yeah, all right, I wrote a song for Rihanna too. Everybody wrote a song for Rihanna, like, is it gonna be a Rihanna song? So I wondered, and then, um, I was very amazed when I heard the finished version. I, you know, it's the, I saw her perform that song a few times actually, uh, but one time in particular at a stadium in LA and that blew my mind. I, I still kind of can't believe that it all worked out that way. But yeah, I'm proud to be a part of it. And she, you know, she had a lot of other people contribute after our initial demo and she put it all together. So, you know, props to her. Radio X.